guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Danielle and if you have been here before thanks for joining me again I really really appreciate it today is part two today's video um, so last week the video that I put out before this was part one I had a lot of content from this it was two days but most of the content was from one day so I decided to split it into two videos and this is the um, second part of that so if you haven't watched the first part I would recommend going and doing that first so you can kind of see what we got done and what we're finishing up in this video if you've already watched it then I hope you enjoy this follow-up as we complete everything else that we needed to complete like I mentioned earlier, I'm so grateful that you guys watch these. It uh, it makes me happy. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I hope it's nice and relaxing and we'll talk again at the end. Okay, I just did another stretch and fold, so that's number three. So we have one left to do. So I reset my timer for another 30 minutes. And I have two errands that I need to run that I think I can get done in that 30 minutes. I need to mail a um, contact rebate and I need to get our cartridge. I need to exchange this for a new SodaStream cartridge. And uh, I'm pretty sure I can get that done I'm gonna hope in 20 minutes and get home before that last stretch and fold. So, <laughs> stretch and fold. Um, let's go do that. I made it home. It was just seven minutes to spare. So that's good. I So I have the one more stretch and fold and then I think if I look, yeah, after that, I'm just gonna be letting it sit for a number of hours. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait and clean the bathroom after that last stretch and fold so I don't have to have my hands cleaning the bathroom and then wash them and then do, it'll just be easier if I just finish this last stretch and fold. But what I love is that while I was gone, my robot vacuum was vacuuming my floors for me, which is awesome. And when it's done, I will send out my mopping robot so I don't have to do that. I put my chairs up on my table because I just find even though it has technically mapped our house I just find it gets into kind of the crevices underneath the table better when I do that and I mean that's where a lot of the crumbs are when we're eating right so I think I'm just gonna sit and finish my coffee and do my last stretch and fold and then we'll get started on the bathroom dough is ready when it has increased by 50% in volume, has a few bubbles on the surface, and jiggles when you move the bowl from side to side. I mean, it kind of already jiggles, but... In the past, I've recommended letting the dough rise until it doubles in volume. Recently, I have been stopping the bulk fermentation when the dough increases by 50% in volume and feel I'm actually getting better oven spring in the end. So, okay. I have a feeling it's probably still gonna take me close to that because we have our air conditioning on, so it's not exactly super warm in here. So, it's, oh, it's 12 o'clock exactly, that makes it easy. So we're covering that at 12 o'clock. We'll check on it again, maybe around six-ish, and see, I'm gonna leave those off still. See, um, that'll be six hours and see how it's looking. Hours, let's see. I should have maybe read this whole thing and seen. Um, 
So then I'm gonna, fold, after that I'll shape it, let it rest for another 30 minutes. Okay, so then I can also just refrigerate it for an hour or I can refrigerate it for 48 hours. So that's good. So I can always, if it gets too late tonight, just put it in the fridge overnight and then do it tomorrow morning because it's gonna cook for about 45 minutes. Doing a cold proof for at least 24 hours before baking produces a lighter, airier crumb. Hmm. So you know what? I might actually then, yeah, you know what? I might let it proof, shape it, and then do the second cold proof in the fridge overnight. It won't be 24 hours. It'll probably be maybe 14 ish, depending on how fast I get going tomorrow. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, we're gonna get started in the bathroom and I was hoping to actually get some bleach in the tub, um, A, to clean it, but also just to um, get the kids' toys clean because I noticed there's a bit of mold growing on their toys, which is always an issue with, I find pretty much any toy that sits in the tub, as well as, it doesn't look too bad, but I like to do the bottom of our shower liner. The bottom of the shower curtain still looks okay, so I don't think I need to worry about that. And then the mesh bag here that we keep all the kids' toys in. I'd like to bleach that too. So anyways, I went and looked for some, um, basically pool chlorine, uh, which is what my husband keeps usually for his work, but we don't have any in the garage right now, so I'm thinking whatever he does have must be with him at work in his trailer. So when he gets home, maybe we can do that part and get the tub clean, but for now, I will do the rest of the bathroom.
So I'm not vacuuming because the Roomba was already in here. I just did the areas that the Roomba can't fit in. So I did around the toilet and then near the scale. And then same thing with the Brava, our mopping robot. It'll come in here and it can do this main area. So again, I just had to do those little areas around the toilet that I can't really get to. And then the bathroom is done. I'll go throw these towels and uh, bath mats into the wash. And like I said, hopefully when Andrew gets home, we can toss some bleach in here, get this all cleaned up and we're good. Kitchen is done. Dining room is done. Bathroom is done. My uh, Brava is mopping the floors for me right now. So what I think I'm gonna do is I wanna get started on this pantry because it's a pretty big mess. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven things of garlic here. And the reality is because we have so many freezer meals right now, we're not gonna even touch that garlic. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel it all and then store the bulbs in the freezer so that when I get back to making our meals again, I can just pull them out of the freezer as I need them. That way they don't just go bad in the cupboard. We also have a bunch of yellow onions. I'm gonna check how they're doing and we'll see how I do for time because I think that's gonna take a while to peel and chop all that garlic. Um, so if not today, another day, but I'll wanna maybe do the same thing with my yellow onions because uh, same idea. I'm just not cooking right now, I'm not using the onions, and I don't want them to just rot in my cupboard. So I'm gonna start with the garlic. I'm gonna sit down and do this because I know it's gonna take me a while, and I'm gonna throw something on the TV because why not? Oh, and I also, oh, and it's just started raining. Let's see if I can take you to my window. The, it was getting really dark out. I don't know if you can see the rain coming down there. So it was getting really cloudy and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get those onions planted, those green onions planted because then it'll rain and I won't have to water them. So I did get all four planted in the garden and I am, the dishwasher's done, but everything's gonna still be really hot in there. So I'm gonna let it cool down a bit and then I will unload it and then I'll get those glasses put in there for the next load. So I can feel that this one is so light, which tells me that everything has just dried up in there and rotted. So I'm not even gonna try and open that one. And same with this one. It just feels so light that I'm certain that if I try to open it, the bulbs will be all shriveled and dead and there's no point wasting my time. This one. Oh, this one is the same. So I'm already a little late for this. You can tell this doesn't look great and you can see how I can squish it in. So yeah, that garlic's dead. But we do have one, two, like three-ish big bulbs that I can salvage. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? That is a, ooh, very old potato toss that as well so I haven't been great about saving my food in the past and things sometimes do go in here to die this is what we'll take a look at after is these yellow onions but I want to get better at that I want to get better at not throwing out so much food not wasting so much food so we're gonna start here
all the garlic and all the onions chopped up and put in the freezer and then when I went back to the cupboard to start doing some more cleaning I found some more hidden garlic and this was some organic garlic I don't even remember when I bought this but I decided might as well get it all uh, chopped up and added to the freezer bag
Okay. It's almost 3.30. We got so much done today. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm a back to store, but I'm so happy with everything we got done. And the I just switched everything over to the dryer. And then um, when Andrew gets home, well, probably not right when he gets home, but maybe tonight I'll do the bleaching in the tub. And tomorrow when I bake the bread, I'll show you how that goes. Hopefully it turns out, we'll see. But for now, I'm just gonna sit for about 10 minutes, then I gotta go pick up the kids, and I think we're gonna go, our rec center's having a grand opening that's a couple years late because of um, everything that's happened. So I think we're gonna go hang out there. They're gonna do bouncy castles and face painting and stuff like that. So I think they'll have fun with that. Okay, it is 7.30 and Turns out I did have the chemical I needed this whole time. I just didn't realize it was in this bottle. I have all these boats here. And you can see that one's starting. That one's okay. I'm gonna get them all anyways, just in case. Like, look at that, that's that's not okay. Don't want my kids playing with something that is all that mold. That one's got a little bit. That one's okay. So Andrew's suggestion was to use our loofah to scrub where um, I put some of the bleach and then that will bleach the loofah which will kill any germs on there and then we're just rinsing it really well anyway so it shouldn't be a big problem. Even after hitting those boats as well as the mesh bag with the bleach and letting it all sit in there for a while the discoloration in a lot of the boats didn't come out and same with the mesh bag and the mesh bag was more of like a yellow and a green and a black and then inside the boats looked more black but my husband says that there's no way any sort of organic matter like a mold would have survived being hit with that kind of bleach so we're thinking it's something else maybe some crayon or something like that so we just took out the toys that didn't get fully cleaned and we'll try to troubleshoot that at a later date same with the bottom of the shower liner i don't end up showing it here but it still looked a bit discolored even after i'd hit it with bleach and my husband pointed out that it's actually not discolored it's there's little weight balls sewn into the bottom and so you can just see those through the material it's actually all very clean he had actually just done that recently sprayed it all with bleach so the two things i thought were mold were actually not mold but i'm still happy that i got the whole tub bleached Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and getting everything done with me. I'm so happy with everything that we crossed off our list. I feel like I'm going to go into the weekend just relaxed and feeling good. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, keep your eye out for more videos in the future. I've got lots of other motivation uh, in previous videos that you can check out. And yeah, I'm hoping that everyone's having a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. I almost forgot to show you the sourdough. So it had a really nice crust to it. And look at that. It's a, definitely a win.